Have you ever stared into a mirror and wondered what if your reflection had a mind of its own? A chilling thought, isn't it? But let's take this a step further. Imagine a mirror with a mind so twisted, so malevolent, that it doesn't just mimic you but reflects your darkest fears and desires. Welcome, my friends, to the legend of the malevolent mirror. This is no ordinary mirror. Its origin is shrouded in mystery and fear. Rumors swirl that the mirror was cursed by a vengeful witch, a woman scorned by love and fueled by hatred. She poured all of her rage and despair into this mirror, forever tainting its surface with her malevolent spirit. Now the mirror possesses an eerie power, a power that makes your skin crawl and your heart pound just at the thought of it. When you gaze into the malevolent mirror, you don't see your face smiling back at you. No, what you see is far more terrifying. You see your darkest fears come to life, your deepest desires twisted into horrific visions. It's as if the mirror reaches into your soul, plucks out your most intimate secrets and throws them back at you, distorted and grotesque. Do you fear spiders? The mirror will show you a swarm of them crawling over your body. Do you desire wealth? The mirror will show you drowning in a sea of gold coins. It's a reflection not of reality, but of the darkest corners of your mind a terrifying tableau of your own making. And the most terrifying part, the mirror doesn't create these horrors, it simply reveals them. It uncovers the monsters lurking deep within your soul, the demons hiding behind your everyday smiles. It shows you not what you want to see, but what you're afraid to admit even to yourself. So the next time you look into a mirror, remember this tale. Remember the malevolent mirror and its terrifying power, and remember, mirrors don't lie. They reveal what lurks deep within your soul. Now, imagine you are the unfortunate possessor of this mirror and something chilling happens when you look into it. Meet our protagonist, a rather simple person who had a penchant for antiques. They had a particular fondness for mirrors, fascinated by the idea that they held the reflections of countless faces and stories from the past. So when they stumbled across this ornate old mirror in an obscure antique store, they were instantly drawn to it. Its gilded frame with intricate carvings whispered tales of a time long gone. It was irresistible. They brought it home, unaware of the horror they had invited into their life. At first, it was just another piece of their antique collection, a conversation starter for guests. But soon they noticed something peculiar. The mirror had a strange allure, a pull that couldn't be ignored. It seemed to be more than just a reflective surface. It felt alive, almost sentient and the protagonist couldn't help but be drawn to it over and over again. One day as they looked into the mirror, they found that their reflection was slightly off. It wasn't something they could put a finger on, but it felt wrong. And then, it happened. Their reflection started to change, their face twisted into expressions they weren't making. Their eyes glowed with an eerie light. It was as if the mirror was revealing a side of them they didn't know existed. The protagonist watched, horrified, as the mirror began to show not their physical self but their internal self. Their insecurities, their fears began to surface, taking the form of grotesque images. Nightmares that they had long buried were now staring back at them from the mirror. It was terrifying yet captivating. As days turned into weeks, the mirror's power grew stronger. It no longer just reflected their fears, it amplified them. It fed on their terror, making it worse with each passing day. The protagonist was trapped in a vicious cycle of fear and dread, unable to escape the mirror's malevolent hold. The mirror began to show not his face, but his deepest, darkest fears. As he gazed into the mirror, he didn't see his reflection, he saw something else, something terrifying. His face, usually a comforting mask of familiarity, was replaced by a grotesque apparition. It was a ghoulish presence, a chilling specter that embodied his deepest fears, his darkest desires. The mirror, an object of daily use, had become a sinister stage for his personal nightmares. With every glance, the mirror painted a tale of terror. It was like an artist, but instead of oil and canvas, it used fear and horror. Each stroke of its macabre brush revealed another terrifying facet of his psyche. It was as if the mirror had become a twisted playwright, and he, the reluctant protagonist in its nightmarish narrative. His reflection was no longer his own. Instead, it was an ever-changing panorama of his worst fears. One moment he saw himself drowning in an endless ocean, his desperate gasps for air echoing in the silence. The next he was trapped within the confines of a tiny airless box, his screams for help smothered by the enclosing darkness. The mirror didn't just reflect his fears, it amplified them, twisted them, 
made them real. The horror wasn't limited to the physical realm. The mirror delved into his psyche, unearthing his deepest insecurities and darkest secrets. It revealed the monster that lurked within, the malevolent creature that he had tried so hard to suppress. His inner demons were laid bare, each one more terrifying than the last. It was an unending cycle of terror, a relentless onslaught of horror that gripped him in its icy grasp. The mirror had become his tormentor, his personal demon, an inescapable prison that held him captive in its malevolent grip. With every passing second, the mirror's sinister influence grew stronger, its horrifying control over him tighter. And then, he realized the terrifying truth. The mirror wasn't just a mirror, it was a window into his soul, a portal into his darkest fears. It was a conduit for the malevolent forces that lurked within him, a gateway for the horrors that he had tried so hard to suppress. The mirror had become a portal to his personal hell. In a desperate attempt to escape the mirror's curse, our protagonist made a plan, a dangerous plan. Our protagonist, caught in the clutches of this malevolent mirror, knew that his only salvation lay in his daring and audacious plan. It was a scheme fraught with peril, one that would test his courage and resolve like never before. The mirror, an insidious entity, seemed to mock him, its glossy surface reflecting his anxiety and fear. He decided to shatter the mirror to break free from the relentless horror it inflicted upon him. It was a desperate measure, but desperation often breeds audacity. The mirror had shown him his darkest fears, his most sinister desires, and he knew he could not live under its tormenting influence any longer. The tension was palpable as he prepared for the task. Each minute seemed to stretch into an eternity, each tick of the clock echoing his racing heartbeat. He could feel the mirror's malevolent presence, its icy gaze boring into him, but he could not, would not, let it deter him. He procured a hammer, its weight reassuring in his trembling hands. This was his weapon, his shield against the mirror's curse. He could almost hear the mirror's silent laughter, its confidence in its invincibility, but he was determined to prove it wrong. The room felt oppressively silent as he approached the mirror. Each step felt like a journey into the unknown, each breath a testament to his rising fear. But behind that fear was a steely resolve, a desperate hope for freedom. He stood before the mirror, its cold, glossy surface reflecting his determined gaze. He could feel its power, its malefic intent, but he also felt his own strength, his will to fight, to break free from this nightmare. His grip tightened around the hammer, he could feel his heart pounding in his chest, each beat a countdown to the moment of reckoning. The mirror stared back at him, its surface calm and unyielding, but he knew what lay beneath that calm facade, a malevolent entity, a curse that needed to be broken. With a pounding heart, he raised the hammer. It was now or never. The hammer struck the mirror, shattering it into a thousand pieces. But was the curse really broken? A question hung in the air, thick with the residue of terror. The protagonist, drenched in sweat and fueled by adrenaline, stared at the scattered shards, each reflecting fragments of his own fearful countenance back at him. The deafening echo of the hammer's impact still reverberated in his ears, a haunting reminder of the desperate act he had just committed. But had he truly banished the horror? Or had he merely fractured it, spreading it around like the broken pieces of the mirror? As he waited, his heart pounded in his chest, a frantic rhythm that echoed the ticking of the clock on the wall. Each tick, a reminder of the passing seconds, of the waiting game he was now playing with the unknown. The silence of the room was oppressive, heavy with the weight of uncertainty. It wrapped around him, seeping into his pores, chilling him to the bone. His breath came in ragged gasps, the only sound piercing the silence. The aftermath of his actions loomed before him, a vast and uncharted territory of consequences. Yet, as the minutes ticked by, a strange calm began to seep into his being. The echoes of his pounding heart began to fade, replaced by a quiet acceptance. He looked at the shattered mirror, the fragments of his fear scattered around him and realized that the mirror was not the monster, it was merely a reflection of the monster that had been lurking within him. The mirror had not created the horror, it had merely reflected it, amplified it. It was his own fears, his own insecurities, his own darkness that had given life to the horror. He had been the puppeteer all along, pulling the strings of his own nightmare. In the silence that followed, he realized that the mirror was not the source of the horror. It was within him all along, and with that realization came the most terrifying thought of all. He was his own worst enemy.